everybody? Uh, Pitbully here. Uh, do an unboxing video on uh, Eheim Classic 250 I ordered uh, for my 30 or I'm um, 29 gallon. So let's go ahead and open it. So the first time you're seeing it open is the first time I'm seeing it. So uh, I'll probably be pretty excited. The box is pretty cool. I got this just to add an increased flow. I want to use the spray bar uh, feature on here. But uh, I don't know until um, I get that done. Uh, we won't know what it is. So let's keep on opening this up. See if uh, it's any good. So here you see um, some guarantee paperwork. And then the Eheim Classic 250. Um, I think it's rated for up to 60 gallons. So this is going to double my filter uh filtration needs so here's the um model or the, i mean the manual for it uh here's one of the tubes i don't know which one this one is intake tube But uh, here it is. It's pretty cool. Some type of valves you should put on here. Uh, there's a video um, that I just uh, seen somebody put up a classic together. Uh, I forgot what model is bigger than mine. Um, but I'm going to do similar uh, to that. I'll put his the description on his video. Uh, pretty much exactly what I'm going to do to set mine up. Probably it's going to be exactly like his. I really like how he did it. Uh, this is probably the intake tube here. And this one is probably the out. So I got an out and the intake. Got these um, classic uh, fluoval green tubes it's uh 16 uh 12 millimeter tubes only got one i thought i was gonna have two but uh i might just have to cut it oh well all right bear with me i gotta to try to get this thing out of here with one hand So, uh, uh, uh. Uh, well, uh, I'll come back to this. Stand by. Okay, finally got it out. And what's in the box are these little cardboard and this is suction cups that are in there. I don't, you can't see it too good. I don't got good lighting. So four suction cups, um, the spray bar, uh, which I'm really want to, to use this, and the actual uh, filter itself. It's pretty heavy. Has all the media in there. Um, Seems like inside of the box, I mean inside of the canister. So here's what it looks like. It's pretty small and compact. Um, so far it looks uh, pretty, cool. pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's in here. We've got these little clips um, on here. Probably old school style. Is the uh, back of the top of the canister. And then it has this bucket, which is cool. I thought it was going to be, um, uh, in the other video I saw, it just looked like he just put his media in there and without a bucket. So, it's kind of cool to have the bucket. And here's the actual canister. 
uh, with the tube. I know a couple people have uh, concerns about this tube right here breaking off or something, but it looks looks like it's in there pretty good. Um, you can't see it really, so. so let's open up this bag. Let's see what you get. Uh, hold on, bear with me. Be aware of if you're oh, doing it in the carpet that you uh, uh, put the bag down. There's, there's, there's a lot of sand in the bag, probably from the media. And um, trying to figure out how does this basket thing come off. Oh, hold on. So I figured out it's just a twist top, um, and it comes with a carbon pad, some fluff, these media balls here, and I don't really want to try to take out these balls right now, but another, uh, probably like a coarse uh, pad in there and then some more media at the bottom ceramic rings so um, I'm gonna rinse all this stuff off and uh, put it in my tank but uh, I just wanted to give you uh, just an unboxing of this uh, Fluval I mean Fluval Eheim Classic 250 um, hopefully um, it's gonna work pretty good and um, Add a little bit of flow to my tank and increase my filtration. Well, this is my video, y'all. Um, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I know it's pretty shoddy uh, craftsmanship with the uh, lighting and everything, but I only got you know a few minutes to do this before my wife catches me talking to myself and think I'm a freaking crazy person. So, uh, this is Pit Bully. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing, and once I install it, on my tank and do uh you know run it for a little bit then i'll give a, a product review um so uh, i hope you enjoy the video it's nothing uh too spectacular but um i'll let you know uh in the future how it turns out later